Well, I don't know where it stopped filming there, but I wanted to show the old robot, 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 robot. I remember them in the best LaBelle's catalog. Well, we got the knife sharpener. Can show me that? I don't know if you've seen that when I was in there. Show me the emblem. Bunch of cool stuff at the swap meet. So I did get a deal today. There's always collectibles. 90 upper deck, 10 bucks a box. Yeah. Oh my god, that is a used to be. That used to be worth something, didn't it? I don't know if I was focused on it. Oh, there's our custom 20 logo emblem. Three bucks. And she had to flip a coin for it. He wanted, he was pretty strong at four. We see the guy every week or two, though. So, did get the knife sharpener. And he took five bucks. You can act like you've been all kinds of places. I know. You'd be like, yeah, and I went here in 03. Never been to London yet? Actually, I ha you picked the one that we've been to there. Oh, okay. <laughs> How much I've do you want been there five for? times. <laughs> Dollar each. Oh, man, it's almost worth it to get him a couple. Yeah, I've been around the world so many times. Do you like it over in Europe? Yeah. I did, too. Yeah. I lived there back in the 90s for a couple of years. How much on the pens? My life. Uh, quarter each. Some of them work better basket collectors. Some of them work, some of them don't. Yep. I just like them because they look old. One guy's supposed to be coming in. He keeps asking for them. So. How much for all of them? Ah, uh, twenty bucks. We always need pens, don't we? Yeah. Want the whole box here's for a, ten? Here's a here's a test. You're gonna make me carry these things out of here, aren't you? You got a piece of paper? Yeah, I started working. Got more, huh? Uh, oh, fifty percent a piece on those. How many do you need? Yeah, ask if you take seven. No, I hate to ask if you take seven. I don't want a low volume. You've got the corners right here. Two corners left. Let's see how we come up with this. Hey, sir. I hate to ask you, but would you do seven? Yeah. Thank you. Now I gotta carry them out. No, you're doing. I, I leave my there. tips here. Leave a tip now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Do you? I got a ten. Yeah. Bye. Right. Hey, that would work out pretty good. Put the money in the box, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that to you. Have well, we thanks. You. <laughs> Maybe I'll have five, six pins at work now when the phone rings, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll make something on it. The whole box is full of. Can you help me just for a second? The whole box is full of Parker and paper made pens and cross refills. You know, some of them like this, just a, something somebody got sent, but. Some of these, like, are Parker pencils. 
That's a Schaefer or something. Actual .07 or something pencil. Cool stuff. Pentel, that's cheap. But these Parker pens are pretty nice. I like them. I always have. Now we lost my dad. That's a old, nice old Chevy. I mean, I'm sorry, 45 and the small one is 35. Now I got something to click at least. Seven bucks for a box of vintage pens. And he's right. I believe I will make something on that. <clears throat> a lot of something. Plus I'll have Parker pens forever. Seven and five is twelve plus three is fifteen dollars. Spent fifteen bucks today so far. Don't go overboard now. Don't go overboard. I need like a Bluetooth on or something when I walk around talking like this. <laughs> One owner car guy dot com. Check out my website. I've got lots of unique stuff. Just like this guy. He's made peacocks and stuff out of rock and wire. Here's a moose. Those are nice. Aren't they? Yeah. Sure. I got a stainless steel all the way. He's got another box. These are worth money. I know. Remember buying what are them they all? Called? Parkers? Parkers, yeah. Do you buy a bunch of them at Costco in a day? There's pencils and pens there. Some of them are cheaper. That's kind of cool. State Patrol, Nebraska. Yeah. And all, look at all these cross ballpoint pen refills. They were a dollar way back when. Pardon There's me, guys. Nice Try to park this guy right here. Oh, we're in your way. I'm sorry. He's got a whole other box. Seven bucks. I think we paid that for two of them pens back in the day. This is what we have. This guy always has makeup and razors and brand name stuff. Like the razors right there, big razors. Oh, it's some fun. Forty bucks, that is cheap. This well, thing's worth like just this right here? Forty dollars just right there. I paid hundred and twenty bucks for that when I used them. For the whole thing. All the bristles are gone. The broom. <laughs> but you ain't got no work, dude. <laughs> That's the truth. You like the stuff. I like the stuff, I just ain't got no work. Don't have the screw in thing for the mag. Yeah, everything for here. There's a screw? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven poles. Some guy told me what he's gonna come back, I told him I'm not holding it. Seven poles, a mag float, and a steel float for 40. That is insane. I'll help you carry it out for 10. See? See, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring my freaking car in here for that. I'll give you 30. Okay, uh, man, bring it. Take it. Uh, I'll help you carry it if you want. I don't want to just. I See, just you're still in at 40. 30 to him, 10 to me, you're still good. I ain't giving you 10. I'll go get my car before that. Get rid of this. I want to kill that. 35, go ahead, take it. How are you going to fit it in your car? Through the sunroof. Okay. That's legal? Need that junk. You you nail that on the head, but you you got change from other change from you got any change? Yeah, I, now I gotta buy it for you. You remember what I, he said to me when I wanted a GI Joe? He said no. See, it's pretty good. I'm making him buy it too. He, he could have given me the forty dollars there right there. No, he couldn't have. He didn't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of junk to carry out, man. It doesn't matter. I don't want to do it. You don't do any work anymore? This is a freaking deal. Hang on, let me check the... Yeah. We didn't even bother checking. Because it's so damn cheap. The poles are worth more. I had to show you the hat guy here. He's got quite a selection. Oh, and every day she has... Free samples of the roasted peanuts there. Let me have the mag. The face is pretty good on it. 
I didn't even look at that. I know, you didn't care to. Why would you look? The bulls are worth 10 apiece. Yes, they are. Yeah, uh, steel one's worth 10, 20, 30 bucks. I think it's a steel, right? <coughs> I'm just trying to help you talk it down. Ask how much for the little gas can it. Is it a buck or something? Buck? That's about all you want to put in a car. 15, 10 miles, 20 miles. Well, big old video of the swap, man. We got trials galore. It's trial day. Oh, Jeep. CJ, front end. Now that would be a pain in the ass to push around. Gary? Yeah, he's got a 46. Ooh, Guinness sign. Nice toolboxes. Night light bulbs. Spark plugs. If you knew what to use, Moss Pit Tool. By RC. Huh. Would have been cool if we could have found the person that lost the other dog. I don't even want to look at that golf bag. What's the skull? Uh, that one's a beaver and the other one's a uh, javelina. Yeah, you just don't have to pay the tax or wait for the biggest gopher you've ever seen. How much for the bag? Uh, hey Dad, what'd you want on that bag? Uh, five bucks. Five bucks. Wow. Get for the blocks. We can go get the car. Would you take three? Yeah. God damn it. Look at how much shit I got here. Jeez. I'm going to be old school now with that bag. I got, I got you got three? I got two fives of yours. Have you got some? You do? Oh, yeah, you got my change. There you go. Thanks, sir. I'm going to be old school. I want to go get 30. Okay. Excuse me. You got three dollars? It's got a little rip. Links. Huh? You ain't got any idea what year that's from, do you? What's that? You ain't got any idea what year that's from, do you? You didn't buy it, you're just selling it. Definitely an antique. It's old. Yeah. I'd be retro, that's for sure. There's made in USA on it too. Thank you. I don't know what Ben Hogan played. It is a long time ago. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I got a golf bag for three bucks. I put my poles in. Hey, I could too, huh? Well, this is turning into a couple things to carry out here. And I just dropped the golf bag on my toe. That was not good. Uh, uh, it's all good. A backpack? I still got that on, huh? No, I'm good. It's just that it keeps falling off my shoulder. Oh, God, that hurt my toe. Well, I'm going to have to stop recording at some point. Get the old flags here. See, now wouldn't it be fun to get you a California flag and fly it up there in Stevens Hill? Huh? Everybody really hates you. Yeah, well, I already do. What the hell? I like those signs. Good. Yeah, man, I could put no trespassing on them, put them out on my lot. Help people keep people off. There you go. I'm gonna put up some no trespassing signs. You should really for what? I actually should just charge two bucks a person and let them hand them a brochure and ask what they like to look. Have do not open the hood signs and it's the problem of always for me on classic cars. I don't need people. Oh God, I hope my dad. I gotta tell him. Let's say I hope he don't see it, but. Dad? Dad? Yeah, real horn. <laughs>
How much for the hat? Of twenty-two. No, it's twenty-two. Whatever that means. He could be Flavor Flav, dude. Yeah. You have to buy that. He really wants twenty dollars. You can mount that on the hood of a small car. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Get you a mannequin. I mean, you're known for horns. Horny. You don't like that, huh? I'll tell you what, you can find one like that on eBay. It's all fine. Why no? Don't let me smack no one in the head. Yeah. Stand behind me to where it's you, I smack in the head. Is that a box set, Samantha? I don't want to carry nothing else. <laughs> but I'm going to find something else. <laughs> oh god, everything's a dollar. Everything's a freaking dollar. It makes you have to walk through at least. Okay, seriously. We got all kinds of stuff here. Petrified wood. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man lunchbox. What do you think about the golf bag for three bucks? Yeah, that's sell probably. Dude, this is so classic. We could take bets on what you think I get. <laughs> I think I get 40 plus. Yeah. Shipping's gonna be the killer. Yeah. But it ain't heavy. No, it's not heavy. It's not heavy, it's just bulky. He gave up on that elk head, didn't he? For what's it from? It's actually my biggest. Yeah, there you go. For something about a tenth as much as I pay. There you go, Matt. You could do that. Cooper's. Um, how much for the Cooper's sign? The Cooper's sign. That's the lady. Tattoo there. Uh, what are you looking for? The sign. I'm asking two on that. Two dollars. Another sign. You do not need another sign. <laughs> no, I don't care. Whatever. It's worth a dollar, definitely. If you resell it, you could ask like four or five for it. Easy. It's in great shape. Thank you. <sighs> and you know we don't need it. Still looking though. Still looking. Gotta still look. I'm the same way. I'm like carrying stuff. Things are dropping off. I'm still like I still gotta go through one more time. <laughs> What's all the skateboard stuff? Yeah. Um, That's pretty serious stuff, right? Yeah. I was asking uh, like 50 bucks for all of it or 40 bucks for just the skateboard. You know, I throw in like the crate. Um, and I was asking 20 bucks on the toolbox full of the wheels and everything. So. And I throw in like the magazines and the videos and stuff, so. Yeah, 20 bucks on the toolbox and 40 on the skate. If I could get any videos, I'd, I'd throw in, you know. The I'll tell my buddy he's here and he's Mr. Skater. Yeah. How about the comics? Um, I'd, I'd probably get like 10 bucks for all of them, or 2 bucks a piece. How much are the cards? Um, that whole binder there, I'd go $4 on the whole binder. Uh, the baseball one, I want to get 5 on. I've got one baseball one in there. Well, here we are back at the car. 
This is going to be a interesting deal here. We're going to stick this stuff in the car somehow. there on my camera but while my dad's opening the car I'm going to show you my pins and my knife sharpener yeah. and we do get the Chevy in one. Oh, they're in my purse. Oh they're in your purse. Five bucks for this knife sharpener. That's probably the steal of the month maybe even the year. The box of Parker pens and pencils and stuff. That's an actual pencil, that one's, they're, they're big money. Um, cross pin inserts, there's my custom 20 logos. Concrete aluminum poles there, Cooper sign. And the Ben Hogan bag. So, I'd like to know what year this is made. Ben Hogan, Paul Hogan, Ben Hogan, ain't it? No year on the bottom, but cool bag. Okay, well. Oh, I don't know if I ever showed the air suspension on his car. If not, there it is. I think I did once. Seven you got the sunroof yeah. open? Yeah, not yet. Well, you want to get that and I'll get on. Should I put this in the S500, we're just going to go for the back One owner car guy and breeder, breeder, duck a girl. And we were just getting ready to head out. Ah, someone calling to buy a car though. Samantha, can you help me? And I went to the swap meet this morning. I'm gonna tag this in there somewhere. Um, a Riker Young glass knife maker. And it's a knife sharpener. Very nice item. Um, this is big money. Big, big, big money. I don't know if you've seen what I showed earlier in the um, video because it kind of died out. I'm doing a new format here. But you can see here that I found one that's close. And I actually bought this off the guy for five dollars. So I got mine for five bucks. We shall see on that one. Now I got a box of pins. And I don't know if you've seen me buy this on there. But I'll tell you what. These inserts are between four to eight bucks a piece. And I got all kinds of them. But forget the inserts. And these are just the extra ones. There's some Parkers and some Shapers and Pintails. And there's some printed pins. I've been out cleaning cars. My hands are dirty. Uh, but... Actually, I dropped a couple more cartridges on the ground. Then, by the way, got the custom 20. Three dollars, baby. All these here are pretty much Parkers. Um, there's a few Schaefer's in there. Um, a couple different deals. I don't know on that one. That's a USA National. And uh, there's two oddly printed ones. This one here, don't recall, it's a nice pencil though. Lots of Parkers. And these Parkers, I got pencils and pins. There's a pen and there's a pencil. So I guess I got sets, except that's maroon. We could just swap out for that one. We got a pen and pencil set. Yes, we do. So I got a couple of these things, um, quite a few actually. Now, all the pins I paid seven bucks for. That's well worth this. These Parkers, they used to be at Costco. A couple of neat inserts. These things used to be at Costco and they were expensive. That one ain't got an insert either. There we go. Everyone I picked up earlier had an ins insert. Now, now we're over to the big money. Yes, sirree. All these are crosses. 
so I don't know, 20 to 50 bucks a piece, depending. This cross actually is marked 24 karat, has an HFC stamp on it. These are both, actually these are all three Watermans. Um, that could be a Parker, it is. That's a Parker, these two are Watermans. Don't know the brand on this one for sure. Waterman? Wherever. Ha! Huh, wherever. And it's actually a four color. I'm going to have to take it apart a bit to get it to work. Now this one I don't know yet. It's worth a lot. A um, little set there with a stone on them. Pretty cool. That one actually is imprinted. I think these are Schaefer's, yeah, old ones. Um, these are regular Parkers. Some of them are. These two here, actually, these three here, I found on there for about 200 bucks a piece for sale. Actual Peterbilt pen. And then over here, Oh, I know where they are. Ah, I moved all the ones I'm looking for. That, what is that? Schaefer. It's a nice little Schaefer. These are nice pens. They're worth big money. I'm going to make some money on them. I'll tell you that. So, oops, don't mess my crosses up with stuff. We've got to keep them separate. I don't know what that is. Some type of marble. I don't know what that is. We'll look at them later. And this is a piece for something else. Um... Now the reason I can't find what I'm needing here is because it's in my pocket. The dude had a box twice as big another one and I'm dumbass and didn't buy it. Look at this. These are the cheap ones. These are the even cheaper ones. But they were five bucks a piece even cheaper. 24 karat, baby. 24 karat. 24 karat. And that one's a Stratford. Don't know how good this one is. Um, and this one, these are gold. Um, this one is actually cross, 24 karat. I don't have the bottom piece. Ah, no, I don't think so. No. It's worth a shot though, right? But that is one expensive pen. Uh, my buddy found one on eBay, something like that, for 1500 bucks. I don't have the whole pen, I just got this piece. Out of these, there's a gray stone, I think they call it. A couple of them here. I got one with a black. That one, yep. This one's very unique. It's a Waterman's fountain. Hard to do all this with one hand. Now, these are old Parkers and such. Shafford. That's a nice little pin. Look at the baby clip. I like all kinds of collectible stuff. There's your stoned one. This is a nice Parker. Or it's a pencil. Another pencil. Gray stone. Black stone here. And that's a pin. Twisty? Yeah, twisty. It's hard to twist with one hand. <laughs> And that's an old um, Schaefer's also pencil. So as you can see, I am a happy boy. And these all need to go back in my pocket. This one here, I gotta find. This is a very old pen here. And it's got a striped barrel where the others don't. Pokemon, yes sirree, got all kinds of them. And that's worth big money, too. Thanks for watching. That's about all my little pins I bought and everything. And the knife me. There's a big day. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen that. The Ben Hogan bag. Yeah, baby. This was $3. $3. Um, you just don't get a deal like that. I mean, well, you do, obviously. What do you think, Breeder? You ready to go? You ready to go? 
she knows it's time to leave. I've got my backpack ready. And I'll tell you, I got some guitars here. These I collect guitars. Um, very, very, very collector's edition stuff is what I do there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. www.oneownercarguy.com. You can catch a lot of my stuff on there. And you can even call me up, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Buy a pen from me. Buy a Pokemon card from me. Buy a car from me. How about last week's buy at the swap meet? The Rescue Ann. Yes, sir, buddy. Got the Rescue Ann here. And she um, came complete with the jacket. Wow, the face recognition even recognizes her. And you got the... You can see it there, watch. See your jacket moving? So it has the pulse and everything. But she's just keeping track of my Maserati right now. And other than that, I think it's about time to go. What do you think, Breeder? Time to go? Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. I'm going to do a video on that 280SE there. Coupe 3.5. 20,000 original mile van behind it. Lots of good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll talk.